Welcome to the Nightwatch demo. In this video, we'll walk you through our different features so you can fully take advantage of all that Nightwatch offers. This is the Nightwatch dashboard where you can get a quick overview of your various track data in one place, such as average rank position, competitor rankings, specific keyword rankings, and more. Your dashboard is completely customizable. You get to decide what data is most important to visualize upon entering your dashboard. We also have a dashboard that provides a data overview at the website level. When you click through to your specific website, you'll see that your dashboard contains the following metrics. SEO stats, search visibility based on tracked keywords, website traffic that's pulled from Google Analytics, and backlinks. As soon as you sign up to Nightwatch, the tool wizard will guide you to add websites. However, you can also add more websites in Nightwatch afterwards. First, simply click on Add URL at the left sidebar of your front page. Then, insert the URL and select the desired country and language for localized tracking, and click Next. In the next few steps, you'll be prompted to insert keywords to track and your competitors' URLs to track. Next, you'll be asked to integrate with Google Analytics. Make sure to select the correct Google Analytics property that corresponds with the website you're adding. For more detailed data, you can choose from the information available at the left sidebar, which is divided into multiple sections. The first one is keywords. Second is graphs, which allows you to visualize different sets of data in a more comprehensive way. Third is backlinks. And fourth is site audit. Then there are additional settings down below here. The keyword section will be the most important. When you click All Keywords, it aggregates detailed information on all the keywords you're tracking. This top section here is the Overview Dashboard. As a side note, with Nightwatch, we've kept a consistent design across different parts of our software, so you will see this similar looking Overview Dashboard in other parts of Nightwatch. Whereas with our competitors, such as SEMrush, each section is designed in different ways, which makes it difficult to navigate across the software. Now this area here includes a graph which shows the average ranking for all your keywords. Here you can see the number of index pages, your search visibility, and then click potential which is calculated based on your rankings and search volume. Here is info on keyword distribution. Here is a quick display of how many keywords went up and down in rankings. In the top right corner, you can display data from a selected date range. Now, if you look down below, you'll see a table of all the keywords that you're tracking. Nightwatch allows you to customize this table by selecting various types of data to be displayed in the columns. For example, if you want to switch this column to organic rank, that's possible. Next, we have filters, which are a great way to refine your table of keywords to match certain fields and conditions that you're looking for. For example, you can filter for keywords with a search volume that is greater than 200 and it will return with keywords that meet that criteria. You can also save your filters by clicking here and providing a name and then clicking Save. Your filter will then show up on the left sidebar for quick access. Another important feature is Discover Keywords, which is found up here. Nightwatch can help you automatically discover new relevant keywords regularly as your website grows. When there's a new keyword in the section, you can just click the blue Add button so you can track the new keyword. Next, we have the Graph section, which allows you to visualize any dimension that you want. Let's say you want to look at the average position of your site versus the average position of a competitor. As you can see, this graph makes it very easy to make a quick comparison and see trends right away. Similar to segmentation in PPC, this method can also be applied to SEO. How can you segment your keywords? It can be based on any characteristics such as a specific product, service, or feature you offer, a particular subpage, or high volume versus low volume keywords. These segments all behave in different ways, so when you segment them, you'll receive a much more comprehensive view on your rankings. For example, you could create a branded segment like ours. This includes any keywords that includes your brand name or a variation of it. Then you could create a segment for a specific product, service, or feature. In this case, we wanted to keep track of keywords relating to backlinks. 
Once you create these custom filtered views of your segmented keywords, it's best to create a custom graph so you can easily visualize how these segments are performing. In this example, we have six segments on one graph, and we can quickly see the difference in the performance between, let's say, our branded keyword segment and our backlinks keyword segment. This makes it easier to spot the major things affecting changes in your search visibility trends and to help you make smart decisions by optimizing the segments that drive the most profitable traffic to your website. Next, we have the backlink section. Once again, like the other sections, there's the overview dashboard, the filter section, and the customized date range. Here you can follow the same steps to create a custom filter for your backlinks. For example, let's say you want to filter for anchor text that contains rank. You'll input the field and conditions and the table will be updated with backlinks that match your criteria. Again, you can customize the columns in this table to view specific data that's important to you. You can then save this filter by giving it a name and clicking save so it appears on the left sidebar. When you enable our site audit feature, you'll be able to get an exhaustive website analysis to help make improvements to your website's ranking. Once again, you'll see the overview dashboard at the top, which provides the following key information. Number of crawled pages, last crawl, next crawl, site health, page breakdown, your SSL status, crawlability, page depth, and the status of your pages. Next, we have the familiar filtering feature, so you can have a site audit of specific types of pages. Now, once you scroll down to the table, you'll find detailed information on each specific page. On the left, if you hover over the red button, it'll let you know how many problems are on your page, and the orange button will let you know how many warnings there are. Next to the URL, you'll see the response code. If you click on the icon on the far right, a pop-up will appear with a full description of that specific page's status. Next, we'll take a look at the top toolbar here. At the top left, we have a quick search feature. This is handy if you're tracking multiple sites and need to quickly switch to another website's dashboard. Next, we have notifications, which contain quick info on what's happening with certain websites, such as new keyword suggestions found or new backlinks found. Now, let's take a look at the bottom left here. Under Settings, so this page we've already covered, but over here, there's a tab for backlinks, where you can configure if you want recurring discovery of new backlinks every three days. You can also ignore certain domains, and you can choose to only fetch backlinks with a minimum URL rating. Next, we have notes. This is useful for attaching notes when something happens on a website. Now, let's take a look at the reporting feature. Click Add Report so that you get to our simple drag and drop report builder. You can choose a report template such as Basic, Progress, or Competitor. Under Elements, you can choose to display certain information from Keyword Overview, Keyword List, Traffic Overview, which is data from Google Analytics, Backlink Overview, and Graph, which allows you to select any of the saved graphs that you customize on the left sidebar here. Next, you can schedule the report to be delivered on a regular basis by selecting Daily, Weekly, Monthly, the Date, and the Time. You can then customize the email. If you have the white label function enabled, you can choose which logo appears in the report. Lastly, you can choose the format you'd like the report to be sent as. Once you click Save, it will appear under the Report section and you'll be able to generate the specific report whenever you want. Nightwatch also allows you to share your pin graphs with your professional network or social followers through a unique and private link. First, choose the graph you'd like to share from your pinned graphs, and then click on the arrow in the right corner. You can copy the link or directly share it, or you can post the link on Facebook or Twitter. Now, here's our last tip. When you click back to the main dashboard, you'll see a list of websites that you're tracking. If the list gets too long, you can group it by clicking this folder button. And then you can drag and drop your websites into folders for better organization. And that's a quick overview of the main Nightwatch features.